If we talk about Chinese uh, activities, information and influence activities in the Western Balkans, I think that they go under the radar. They are much less explored and uh, much less attention is being paid to Chinese activities. And that is in part because our civil society and our media are not that well informed. They do not have the understanding and the capacity to um, deal with uh, the, the information threats posed by Chinese presence in the region. That is because China uses different uh, tools compared to Russia. It uses much less disinformation and relies much more on propaganda that is disseminating one-sided or largely embellished information about China and about what China is doing. And on the other hand, eliminating all criticism that could be addressed towards China or towards its actions in the region. When we talk about the region, we see a clear division between on one side the NATO allies, uh, North Macedonia, Albania and Montenegro, plus Kosovo. And on the other side, we see Serbia and Bosnia and Herzegovina, and especially the regional Republic Srpska, which are much more subject to Chinese influence, not only in terms of the information space, but also in terms of uh, economic uh, influence. And unlike the first group of four countries that I, that I mentioned, where China is somehow becoming unwelcome or less welcome by the political uh, elites, in Serbia and in Bosnia we see an increased Chinese presence in, last, in, the, in the past several years. Well, uh, when I was doing my PhD, uh, I was writing about the five countries in the Western Balkans that have official relations with China and the influence that China has in those countries. And it somehow didn't feel right to have Kosovo uh, left aside. So I wanted to, to explore what's happening between uh, Kosovo and China because uh, on the surface there is nothing, there is no official Chinese presence, but on the other hand uh, China is very important when it comes to Kosovo's uh, statehood and the, the recognition of Kosovo. And Maybe the main conclusion that I could uh, share with you, uh, especially since the Russian aggression in Ukraine, is that we see increased efforts by Serbia to uh, use its privileged relationship with China. Basically, Serbia is counting much more on China now. It was Russia in the past, but given that Russia has been uh, losing its diplomatic uh, capital due to the war in Ukraine, uh, China, uh, Russia, Ch Serbia sorry, is focusing much more on, on China to uh, basically block uh, Kosovo's efforts to secure international recognition or to seek uh, membership in different international organizations. And unfortunately at that time, I, I hope that the situation is changing or will change, uh, I didn't see any efforts uh, or um, systemic activities on the side of Kosovo Kosovo to somehow address this challenge. I had the feeling that Kosovo is not very much aware of, of, the, of the potential that China has to prevent its efforts for international uh, recognition. And that is maybe a message for, for Kosovo policymakers that this is something they should be taking seriously and working on seriously. I will have to invite you to a training or media yeah. professionals to a training because uh, there is a, a lot to, to learn and to um, understand. Uh, but basically the first step would be to understand uh, Chinese official sources, where they come from, how they are being transformed into our local information uh, media space, and to seek for alternative uh, sources that provide a different opinion. Um, democratic pluralism is something that we should be striving for as democratic societies. And in that case, in that respect, journalists and media have a key role to play. They should be working more investigative journalists especially on uh, Chinese presence uh, in the region, on Chinese activities globally and how they are related and how they influence our, uh, our countries because there is a direct link between what China does at the global level and what we are feeling as consequences in our region as well. We are definitely not immune to, to that and the journalists should be the frontline workers that will encourage public debate and informed debate so that that our citizens can form informed opinion about the Chinese presence.